Hey guys, it's Jarek there, Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft, and uh, as you all know, I'm going on vacation Monday morning, I'm leaving about 4 o'clock, and we aren't open on the weekends, so technically I'm already starting on vacation um, now, because it is Friday night, actually, it's about Saturday morning, because it's 12.01 now, and um, yeah, so as I was saying, I'm changing the way RDA works slightly, well, well not really, but I'm kind of upgrading it. Uh, we're going to start keeping a lot of things in stock, a lot of the biggest sellers. And uh, I'm, I got a big shipment that came in today. A lot of them, uh, well, not a lot of them. There's about three of them I haven't really made videos of before. And I'm going to give you guys a quick little overlook of that uh, before I head off on vacation. So you guys get to kind of wait a week and be, be in suspense and just be like, ah, oh, where are the videos? So, yeah, I will be back the week after next week. Uh, let me look at the date here. I will be back and RDA will be fully functional again on the 16th of June. Uh, that's when we be, will be fully functional. So uh, let's get on to the actual thing though. I will be keeping things in stock before I get into the things I'm keeping in stock, just everything I have in stock momentarily. Um, I probably won't be keeping this in stock for uh, all the time. Just It'll probably keep on special order because people don't have money to buy it. But the, uh, the Classic Army SL8, I got one in stock. I got two of them in, one of them already sold. So, yeah, it's definitely, like I said, it's it's RDA's sniper of choice. Definitely an awesome gun. Uh, so, yeah, this is in stock at Red Dragon Airsoft currently. Uh, notice this is all going to probably can change very easily. Uh, next thing, this is probably one I'm not going to be keeping in stock either. The G&G UMG. This is my favorite SMG. It's funny, that was, that's my favorite sniper I've choice. This is my favorite SMG of choice. Um, absolutely love it. This thing is amazing when it comes straight down to it. Um, that's really all you can say. But yeah, go ahead and give, a, give the videos of this gun a look. Definitely worth giving it your time. Costs a little bit more though, so it doesn't sell as well as uh, it probably should. It should sell like crazy. It should just be going like crazy. Anyone that's in a CQB, this is that's your weapon. Um, here's another one that's in stock. This one is not too expensive. It's actually pretty cheap. This is the uh, JG G3 SAS. Same internals as the G3, just shortened. So. Great gun, still in stock. And um, everything else is stuff that I just got today. So this is all stuff I'm going to be keeping in stock. So let's start out with the, the well, the biggest sellers, really. Um, this is the obvious big seller. It's the JG M4S system. This is going to be kept in stock, definitely. Um, I have, I'm going to keep it in stock. Uh, if we happen to run out of stock, it'll only be momentarily out of stock until we get all the newer stuff. It'll probably say special order, or it'll probably just continue to say in stock, because we'll be getting another shipment coming in probably as soon as we run out, um, or before. So this is going to be kept in stock. Uh, like I said, I don't really like M4s too much, but people absolutely love the M4S system. Um, so if you want to buy it, I'm keeping it in stock for you guys. Uh, this is just for you guys. And the next one, probably another one of the biggest sellers I got. Um, here it is. The uh, the JG G36C. Definitely a big seller. Uh, great price on this one. Probably the best. Probably price the best out of any other gun, so this is going to be kept in stock, definitely. People just love it. And personally, I'm one of those, I don't want to put it down now. <laughs> this is just, it's really comfortable. Something about the G36, you just can't, you just can't stop. I mean, it's a G36, it's really all you can say. Um, keeping that in stock now, and I'm going to be keeping these in stock as well. This is the CYMA CM.047C. It's the full full metal AK-74U 
or AK-74, not the 74U. I will be keeping the AK-74U in stock as soon as I can get it. You're probably hearing rumors like maybe they're they're discontinuing it or something like that. No, just the Chinese government came down on CYMA. It's getting hard for them to get import it here, but everyone should be able to get it back in the United States. Uh, looks like the end of June, early July. It looks like around that time, maybe sooner. So until then, it's currently not available really anywhere. But I am able to get this model. So if you want an AK and the best one out for the price, AK-74U in stock. And related to this, I got a few of these. Now these I don't know if I'm going to keep in stock or not. Uh, it depends how they sell. But a 2500 round auto feeding drum magazine. Uh, these are AK drum mags. There we go. These are AK drum mags. They are auto feeding. Like I said, they hold 2500 rounds. This button here makes it auto feed. There's no batteries in it right now though. But yeah, so 2500 rounds in your AK. Definitely worth buying. And it, it's full metal, so it really enhances the feel and weight of this gun. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep this in stock or not. I might put it on special order because I, I'm not sure how it's going to sell. So let's move on. If I don't kill myself. Next one. Now I'm going to start. I'm going to start getting into the ones I haven't made videos of. All right, so. This one was one of my favorites. I was waiting for this for a while. The JG Sig 5.52. Now this is personally my favorite rifle that is pretty much for overall use. Extremely accurate. I would tell you get this over the G36C. In every single way this is better. It has RAS rails, the same hop up, but a longer barrel, this gun is a lot more accurate actually. It uses the same type of battery, uh, metal flash hider. It has a folding stock, it's actually smaller, the stock folded, than the G36, and it has a full size gearbox shooting just as hard. So I'm telling you, this is actually a better pick. Let me actually pick up, uh, I'll do that some other time. I'm going to be making a video of the G36 versus the SIG 5.52. So, yeah, be looking for full videos on this when I come back. So this is just a little teaser for you guys. Oh, something else I forgot to mention. This is still in stock. The W.E. Luger. Great gas blowback pistol. I really love it unique, original, pretty awesome. Um, next, now this one I was a little uh, worried about. I wasn't sure how good it would be, but the, the company seemed to be moving along quite a ways. I was interested, I, was, I wasn't I was sure how good it was going to be in terms of quality, and no one had really done much of anything about it. There's been some reviews scattered around, but nothing full, no hype, no rumors, no, no really anything. The only rumor I heard about is that M4 mags don't work well, which is I found to be incredibly false. That is of the... <coughs> pardon me. That is of, <coughs> of the Bolt Elephant. Type 89. Now, I actually found this to be very, very good. It's pretty dang awesome when it comes right down to it. Uh, full metal comes with the bipod. Great quality. Bipod's easy to take on and off if you don't want it. Uh, it, it does work with M4 magazines. It's tested that with a KWA, a GNG, a JG, a D-Boys, and one other company's magazine who was ICS, I think it was. Yeah, but I tested with a lot of M4 mags and I haven't found one M4 mag that hasn't worked yet. Oh, it's A&K, that was the company. But, um, yeah, it's actually better than I thought, and the three-round burst seems to be working perfectly fine. Interesting way of doing it, too. But um, it seems that both elephants are really coming a long way. Um, at first, I, 
if this was a few years ago, I would never even give them a chance. Because I got their SL8 and that thing was garbage. Never get it. But then the ACM M500 the shotgun I got, the pump action gas shotgun, that thing is made by both elephant, if you didn't know. And that's what said, well, maybe they're not so bad. So they seem to be improving quite a bit in terms of cloning. And they are really the only company that makes a metal Type 89. Uh, really the only company, clone company, making one. I personally would prefer this over the Tokyo Marui just because I don't like Tokyo Marui that much and they're way overpriced. Um, so yeah, teaser. All full videos of this uploaded too when I come back. And by the way, full auto, three on burst, some automatic, and they work. It's a cool thing. So let's move on to the next one, which if I'm not forgetting anything, let me do one last check over everything. Yeah, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. This is the very last one. All this stuff on it comes with it. Um, this is the Double Eagle M84L. It's not the M84A, it's the M84L. Uh, you may be asking what's the difference. The difference is this one comes with a laser that's actually good. Um, it does come with a suppressor and it's about the difference internally, it's about the difference between the M81 and the M81 version 2. Uh, this is a Double Eagle M84, which is an M9. Um, the sound can come right off if you want it to. But it's an AEP, and it's actually really nice. Um, I think Double Eagle, personally, in my own opinion, Double Eagle makes the best AEPs on the market, not counting the larger ones like the MP7s and the Scorpions. I personally prefer Double Eagles over CYMAs a lot because their externals have a lot of metal, the internals are great, uh, they shoot far, they shoot accurately. Um, I would personally rather use these than a CYMA, but I have a Scorpion, and I, I don't mind it being on a sling, so it doesn't bother me. But... Yeah, I will be making full videos of this tomorrow, actually. And I'll, I'll probably end up doing the review in like five minutes. But, yeah, this one will be uploaded because my friend is interested in it. Uh, he doesn't know anything about it, obviously, so I'm going to start making the videos of this before I head out. I don't know if I'll have the site updated before I head out. And anyone that orders anything while I'm on vacation, uh, that'll happen when I get back. So, yeah, that's kind of just a heads up what I've been doing, what's going on, and everything. I like messing with this gun for some reason. But anyway, there's a sort of teaser, more or less a trailer, kind of, if you really want to call it that. I think it's just more of a teaser. So stay tuned for a review of this this Saturday. And then when I get back next two weeks from now, actually, is about a week and a half now from actually. Um, what did I just say? Anyway, about a week and a half from now when I come back, I'll be making full videos of this. Website will be completely updated if I don't get a chance to update it then. Um, if I don't make the videos, I'm definitely not going to be making the videos of some of these. So they will not be on my site. This one will be on my site probably before I head out, hopefully if I get the chance. Tomorrow I'm at meetings all day, so I don't know if I'll be able to. But yeah, there's, a, there's kind of the teaser. Um, this ended up being a little bit longer than I would have thought. So I'll see you guys later. That's the end of this video.